Hey, everybody. It's your personal chef, Chef Troy B., and I'm so happy to have Lady Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth. You may recognize her voice. She's the Atlantic traffic lady on V103, the people station <laughs> in Atlanta here. But while most people on uh, on the furlough were making sourdough bread <laughs> or getting fat, <laughs> Miss Stephanie over here was making a streaming app. So she is the CEO, founder, owner, uh, content distributor of the Flow app. So, <laughs> so say hi to everybody hey. and. Uh, Give everybody a brief bio on uh, on yourself, and then we'll just go into uh, see what we got going on today. All right. Well, first, let me say thank you, Chef Troy B. I finally got on your platform. <laughs> You've been right? on my show for years. Mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. cooking on my other show. I have another show called The Flow, you know, mm -hmm. and it's on uh, Priest of Word Worldwide Network Television every Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. So now... We're doing some other things together, so it's kind of exciting. right, 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 exactly. So um, you're from. Let's see. So you've been. Let's see what I'm trying to get your resume. I'm trying to remember your resume. Oh, you're, uh, you're you're right now a uh, you're a teacher. You've been on QVC as one of the models. Uh, from Philly, yes, right. <laughs> Do the pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and now you are. Uh, I was right here before everybody else came. There was me, you know. So. Right, right. <laughs> That's how old we are over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just because me and Moses were neighbors doesn't make it old, okay? All right. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm very excited because, you know, like I said, you started a whole streaming app, and uh, I'm a part of that as well. She's posted several of my older videos from the Cooking in the Flow from her from the TV show, uh, and uh, she invited me to be part. So I just wanted to give uh, you an opportunity to promote because I'm all about promoting people who are doing good stuff and uh, and let people know how they can get onto the app, uh, you know, what makes sure it's different from um, Twitch and Instagram and YouTube uh, and just, you know, just give them a brief, why, why did you start a streaming app? Maybe we should start right. there. All Always right. begin with why. <laughs> We've been busy in the pandemic, I've been saying. We've been busy in the doggone pandemic. And yeah. uh, it's kind of a, a thing that has happened for, mm, it's been in the works for a while. Yeah, I didn't really know it was totally in the works, you know. I'd always, I'm a broadcaster 33 years was just July, 33 years. But, um, you know, all along I knew I was going to be or was supposed to be starting a some kind of a, a network, a broadcast network, right? So it was going to be a regular, I had a chance to do it many moons ago, but I got kind of mm. scared, so I didn't actually do it. <laughs> so right. now, 33 years in, I've done all the things I want to do with broadcasting. I love what I still do as a traffic reporter and, and doing stuff here in Atlanta on B and AOK 92.9 game. But I just said, what else can I do? And maybe, yeah, I could, you know, streaming is a big thing. I need to create something like that. I wanted to do a streaming channel. So you and I were doing the Flow Television on the Christian Television Network. And what I wanted to do was to make a Christian Television Network. That was the initial mm -hmm. push. And so when I started getting that together, getting some developers to develop the platform and everything, I realized that I didn't only have to only have one channel. I could have 10 channels of video. I could have... 10 channels of audio, I could have 10 live stream channels, right? So that's 30 right. different channels. It doesn't have to just be one signal. It could be all kinds of things. So if you combine right. that, then I was going to do the Christian network, the flow. It's going to be called the flow. We've been talking about that for about a little over, about a year and a half now. Since the pandemic started, we we're talking about that. And then I figured out I could do some more things. Like you said, I teach. So teaching at uh, SAE Institute, downtown Atlanta, it's where all the students are. Uh, learning, you know, audio engineering, they're artists coming up, they're filmmakers, digital film degrees, all those things are, are what they're doing. So because they were doing that, I've been teaching there about three, a little over three years there. And they would always say, Miss Stallworth, Miss Stallworth, we need some place to show our stuff. I always say show ourselves. That's what they say. We need some place to show our stuff, you know, because they can't all be on the big, you know, networks and everything already. They can't have a big pop in records yet, but they still have content. So I was like, yeah, I got to come up with a show. We just need to interview us on the show or do something. 
And I was just trying to figure out how to do it. But then once I figured out that I didn't only have to have one type of content on my streaming platform, I could have so many various things. I said, wow, I'm going to have a, a streaming uh, channel in the platform for, uh, you know, independent artists. All my students are independent artists. They have projects. They have things out there doing stuff. They need a platform for it right. there, right? And then my independent filmmakers, who were the students, they needed stuff, places to show their stuff. So I'm like, okay, so okay, I'll have a, I'll have the the Christian channel. Then I'll have the one for the independent artists, and then I'll I'll have the one for my filmmakers. But then there's so many more areas of content. And really, you know, uh, Chef, I'm saying we're saturated on IG and YouTube. We all are on IG, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, right. and all that stuff. But um, is anybody on Roku? Is anybody uh, out there on Apple TV? Maybe some, but not a lot of people. A lot of people aren't out there on, you know, Fire TV. We're on Fire TV. We got an iOS app. We got an Android app. So you can have access to all of those things by being part of the flow. So, you know, I got my cooking channel. You're the headliner of the cooking channel to get started. <laughs> I'm adding some chefs on board, but you are our head chef up from the front, Chef Troy B. So right. Channel, Flow Food Channel with Chef Troy B is, is the yeah. headline for that. And, you know, so I've been adding a bunch of channels and different types of content. So, you know, we're kind of, I think we launched, you know, each app took its time to launch. They launched over the summer. And finally, right. we're all ramped up, all, all apps are launched, and you can download the Flow in your favorite download portal on your Nice, <laughs> on your nice, screen. nice. <laughs> Well, it's it's just nice because you know, uh, as a content, I guess I'll be considered a content creator. Uh, if you watch, it's just so much copycat. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll use the same song, they'll do the same little TikTok thing. You right. know, just for the just for the views because they're <laughs> trying to go viral. And you know, my goal was never to go viral; it's just to help people get confident in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a different platform where you don't have to be as the same as everybody else to, you know, have have good quality content mm -hmm. on there. So, you know, and I want to thank you because, you know, you let me be on the, your TV show, The Flow. I was Chef Troy B cooking in, cooking in The Flow. <laughs> it was rough in the beginning because you're like, your background, your background. I'm like. This is where I work. <laughs> this is all I have right here, you know. But you were you were very kind. You got me a microphone set, so you know the sound the sound quality would be better. And then you're like, make make sure you dress up, make sure you dress up the the mics thing. I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna clip this on and try not to burn it. Okay, try not to try not to burn it up. So, <laughs> so but that was uh you know like. Like I told one person, I was on their uh, internet radio show one time. I just never knew where this culinary thing that I'm doing was going to take me. And, and you know, like I never thought I was going to be on TV because, you know, I got a face for radio. So, but, <laughs> but you know, it's just, it's fun. It, but, you know, it's hard. Uh, it's hard because, you know, you really have to do this, like, as a full-time thing to be a content creator. Because it's a lot of work. Even doing my the segments <laughs> on Fridays, I'm like, this is a lot of work, you know. <laughs> getting the lights, right. Then you got to edit it so you can put it back on another, you know, make it look nice, make it sound nice. And, you know, it's just a, it's a lot of work, you know. Yeah. So, Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot of work. But, you know, you make it look easy. You know, my, my sons and I, we watch your – turn this phone off so sorry my sons and i we watch your your stuff and we're like, oh we try that recipe oh we learned this we learned that so um i really appreciate you coming on and adding what you add to it was the flow television show and now of course the flow streaming app because you added a nice touch to it besides just you know some commentary or some regular inspirational stuff yeah some you know everyday lifetime stuff too that people can really relate too. And, and then you have your jokes along the way and you're like, oh, food makes me happy. I'm like, yes. yeah. <laughs> I'm always well, saying, Chef, you gotta like, uh, it's the sizzle. I want to see the sizzle. More sizzle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I like, I like when the I like when it hits in the, in the pants. I'm like, well, every recipe doesn't need the pants. So. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that, I'm trying not to let the smoke detector go off. <laughs> well, yeah, so. 
It's going up in a couple shows. I'm like, oh, the smoke detector. <laughs> this is real life cooking. This may happen in your house. I don't have an industrial hood right here. <laughs> so <laughs> if people only really knew where I'm cooking from, it, oh. they'll be like, how do you do that? You know, like I had one of my uh, followers say, uh, you know, you need a bigger kitchen. You got such big things going on. Yeah, I was like, yeah, but you know, this is some people's kitchens are this small. Well, you know. Everybody doesn't have a big kitchen. So you're showing me all these great things can be done from, you know, whatever kitchen that you're in. And, you know, and then because you can do it where you can do it when you get your big fans or kitchen, you'll be all about right. it. Yeah. Right, right. So, but let me think a few people are on right now. Uh, my mom's on, of course. So she's always on. Shelly, Ariel, I see you all. Thank you for for showing up, for always supporting um, my channel, my my. This thing started off as my friend Ariel saying, "Why? How come you're not doing something on YouTube or Instagram?" I'm like, "Cause you know, I dare you to do it." I'm like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> That's it, right? Right, right. So, uh, but it's cool. Up? Like Magnolia Builder, yeah. Magnolia Builders. What's up, Magnolia? Uh, seafood and barbecue. Uh, they are actually one of the, what was it, where were you, the second or third, whatever. Highest food truck in Atlanta, best food truck in Atlanta. So, nice. That's nice. Up. Now they have Magnolia Builders where they build food trucks. So, if you see Magnolia, yes. trucks, follow them. I follow them. They're, they're one of my best guys, as Damien and, and all his uh, crew. They're just real good people out there, too. Yeah. I follow them on IG as well. So, <laughs> I thank y'all for always showing up. And, uh, you know, it's, this Instagram live thing, you know, like I don't have like you watch someone like uh, Chef Andrew Zimmerman and you see his live stream and he's got like 1K, 2K, 5K, just like that. <laughs> and, you know, everyone has their niche. And it's like for me, I just wanted to be on. And this is kind of like the way to be immortal because the Internet is forever. <laughs> so but. My biggest thing was like, you know, just easing everybody's fear of cooking because it's really not about the recipes for me. Because as my instructor told me, the recipes are just a guide. Um, it's about the techniques. So I wanted to I wanted to show people like, yo, if you can saute a steak, you can saute fish, you can saute vegetables. Now you can cook anything you want because it's not about the recipe. It's just, it's the thing. Mm -hmm. So you make so, it, I mean, I, some things I have thought I would not attempt you or hadn't thought about. We've done and they came out really great. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can cook, okay? Because, you know, it's the thing, like, thanks, the holidays are coming up. So here come Thanksgiving, and now you may have some people over, but you want to try a new recipe on Thanksgiving. If you want to try a new recipe on Thanksgiving, you need to be making that right now. <laughs> Practicing that right now. <laughs> Trial and error. <laughs> right. So, but if you never had, like, it's hard to cook Indian food if you never had Indian food mm. because you had no point of reference. Exactly. You had no how, how the spice is supposed to blend, the sauce is supposed to be built. Yeah. So, you know, it, you got you got to go out and eat these different things. So, you know, I, I, if it doesn't crawl too fast off the plate, I'm eating it. And so... <laughs> So, but you, said, you know, you overcook it. It's already dead. They're like, okay, <laughs> right, right. Because especially as uh, as our people, we love everything mm -hmm. well done. You know, it's like, yo, know, you don't have to kill that piece of fish. You know, you're free. <laughs> right. It's, it's already dead. Don't kill it again. So, <laughs> <laughs> so how can people get onto your? Your, your app onto your station. Um, and I like it because it's, you know, you can literally, uh, I, I downloaded, once you sent me the link for the app, I downloaded it and I can watch any of the shows, any of the programming mm -hmm. right from my phone. Anytime. It's on Roku. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so it's, it's on these, I, I think it's, I, I like that because now you can, you know, a lot of people don't go to YouTube, but they may watch their Apple Plus, their Apple TV Plus. Mm -hmm. or they may watch something on their phone while they're traveling. And, you know, you, like I said, YouTube's cool. But to me, it's like you see a lot of the same things. And someone said, don't look at it as copy, look at it as an inspiration. Right. And it, it is. It is. And, but on the same thing, you, you get kind of 
for me, at least for me, I get tired of seeing the same thing and hearing the same songs. Mm-hmm. You know, the little same song clip it, a uh, snippet. So, you know, I, I appreciate what you do. The YouTube app. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so how did how do you get in contact with the CEO of the Flow Television Network? Whoop, whoop. And, whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, we are um, easy to get in touch with. We have a website, theflowtelevision.com. And then if you want info on how to, as you a content creator, you can get your content on there. You can just type in your email info and then we'll send you out the info packet. Or you can email us directly if you weren't on the, um, on the website. We're info at theflowtelevision.com. Info at theflowtelevision.com. And again, the website is theflowtelevision.com. We're on Instagram. Follow us today, everybody. We're on Instagram at the Flow Television Network. Please follow us. We don't really have any followers yet. So we really yeah, well. <laughs> we're going to get there. It's okay. Follow which is us. another thing, you know, which is another thing. <laughs> Getting your followers to actually log in when you're on, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, as, as a content creator platform holder, I'm also a content creator building my audience and brand as well. So I understand right. where it's coming from. So, you know, Chef, we got we got Flow Food. We got Flow Family. If you have family-related mm-hmm. content, audio or video, same for the food. We have Flow uh, Fans for all of you sports commentators, anyone, anything about sports content, fitness people. If you, um, you know, a lot of people made a lot of headway over the pandemic. You know, when the fitness clubs shut down or personal trainers and stuff, they ended up doing it online. So, you know, got some videos of you doing some training. You want to put that up there. You guys can do that. I got Jamming with Judith. Shout out a few people that are on here. We got Jamming with Judith and, and Judith Kendall. Steve Kendall uh, contributed a lot with Things Not Seen Productions with um, not only stuff for the, the Flow Faith channel, the Flow uh, Films channel. He's a filmmaker also. He and his wife, Judith, they are doing uh, the fitness thing and another couple of things that they're about to add on. So, um Hey to y'all. I don't know if they're on here yet, but they'll, they'll see this a little bit later. Uh, I just want to shout you out, Chef Troy B., of course, from the beginning. Uh, Rich and Faith TV. Hey, what's up, Rich and Faith? Yeah, that's one of my students, Rich and Faith TV. Was, okay. He's graduated. And he's, he's, I'll tell you a story about Rich and Faith. Rich and Faith was in my public speaking class at the school, SAE. And he was in the back, you know, of the room. And he was just always saying, yes, yeah, Rich and Faith TV. I'm going to be doing Rich and Faith TV. But he was really driven to know that that's what he was going to be doing. So this was maybe mm, three years ago. So, but he's been steadily adding content, Rich and Faith TV. You follow him. You see all his content. And when my platform came together, I knew I wanted to get his, pla- his uh, content on the platform. So, hey, Rich and Faith TV. And his mom is on there. Her name is Chris, uh, Christy. So we're looking for Christy Love. She's got not only some Christian stuff on there, plus she does the cooking. They're from New Orleans, so Chef, uh, you might have seen her making the jambalaya. Right. Yeah, I, so I tried that, but ugh, I didn't do so well. But <laughs> uh, I gotta keep practicing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta try things three times. It takes you three times to get get a recipe right. Right, right. Better, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, that's why I got you guys around to help. <laughs> but let's see who else is on here. Uh, in in the music part, if you're an, uh, a music artist, you're a gospel artist, you're R and B, any other kind of hip hop artist, whatever. You got some music out. I got a place for you, audio and video. So I have um, Sharice Jones. Shouts out to you. She is. Uh, she just moved to LA. She's from the DC area and she um, did a very popular remix of Lizzo's uh, Boot Up. No, no, LMA's Boot Up and Lizzo's Like a Girl, go go version mm. style. So you'll see those. Oh, nice. And, um, you know, she's doing some, some hot things out there. El Capone, she's got a, a hot new single called Riot. She's got the audio on there and the video. The video is something else. So um, you got that. So if you're an artist, there's so many artists here. I know some of my students will be seeing this. and like, yeah, you know, I'm ready. I see them doing their projects. Just watch them develop as they go along. Like, this is perfect for somebody who is maybe a, a budding content creator and they want to mm. get on there and, um, you know, show their stuff. Show their stuff. That's our thing. Show your stuff. All my right. church. You know, Chef, I got to shout out all my churches. I need y'all to come on over to the floor. I know you're on Facebook. I know you're on YouTube. But, you know, it, let's expand your platform and uh, come on over to Roku and to Fire TV and all the others, right? Apple TV and stuff. And we welcome you 
uh, with your uh, ministries, your sermons, uh, any of your encouraging programming, uh, your music that's original. Like the thing is, you got to own the stuff. It has to be your stuff. You can't you know, have any copyright issues. <laughs> so right, right. Creators, right? So don't repurpose someone else's to make it yours again. Make your own content and hey, bring it because this is just we're just getting started. I was saying on another uh, place that um, you know, well, you know, this platform is really big, and it was kind of like where I mean, this doesn't apply to everybody, but sometimes people would say, "Oh, when I was growing up, my mom and dad would buy our school clothes three times too big because we would grow into it," and so mm. we bought this platform too big on purpose and we're growing into it. So yeah, we're just doing a little, a few things now, we're building up, but we're right up there next to, uh, on your on your platforms next to Hulu and the Roku. You can find us in the same place and we're built by people who build the same kind of thing. So there's no way that we can't compete once we get you know our content creators on there for that. So we're not going anywhere. So if you're just thinking about a show, you're just thinking about something, you know, go ahead and do it, you know, reach out. Right, right, right. listen, if I can do a show, if I can record and edit, <laughs> right, if I can do it, it, really, anybody can do it, okay? And, you know, I'm doing it right from my phone. I'm not, you know, I don't have a billion dollars worth of equipment yet. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, all you need is, right, it doesn't. It, you can do everything on your I, I edit on my phone because my computer is a dinosaur. So I found it just easier just to edit on my phone. Um, I upload stuff to our, our folder that we share. And uh, I even did my, I even got my intro down. So, you know, which is. I love it. Like, okay. Right? Right? Yeah. I don't know. Plug, plug and play. It's plug and play. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, I saw your thing. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So, but you know, you, and let's just be, you charge your fees to, to upload, to have content on there. And you you know I don't talk about nobody's money how much stuff costs because you know that's your business. Uh, but it, but it's, it's it's reasonable it's 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 a reasonable rate. Um, and you know like everything if if is if you're serious about being a content creator or just being learning how to produce and edit and stuff like that, it's worth it. It's worth the fee to me um, to go ahead and just take a leap of faith. Because you you never know who's gonna who's somebody may be watching. This is a global and, app. This is all right. over the world, right? So it's not just like oh, it's just here in Atlanta or just here in the U.S. It's everywhere, so it can be seen all over. So you, you got to realize that if you have a, I was thinking of people who have things that they want to live stream and they want to get a global audience, you can do it. You can do it. Right. You can do it. Yeah, you just started. You just started the live the live streaming now. Yeah, yeah. So I have a. Um, it's a 24 hour content wheel is what I'm calling it. And uh, where, you know, if you turn on the TV and whatever channel you're watching and then, you know, shows come on on a schedule, this will be shows on a schedule. And then mm -hmm. the other ones that we already have been working were the on demand. So if you were a content creator, like, you know, I just had a comedian, Derek Adger, he's on there out of Philly, another one out of Philly. You might know him, I don't know if you know him, uh, out of Philly. And he uh, has a couple of comedy uh, sets on there. And, you know, they're on the the wheel of content, plus they're on the, the Flow Funny channel. So if you're a comedian, I need my comedians. I know some comedians out there. Go on and, and get your stuff on the Flow Funny channel because it's available and it's just another place to house your content. Again, we're the house for the content. I'll create your content. I'll produce your content. You do all of that. I house it and I distribute it to other places that you don't normally normally have it on also another i don't know we're from philly we got these philly people lamont farrell gotta shout you out mark alexander their their show is called you're joking right uh lamont farrell award-winning uh, sitcom writer he's written for and been on the office he's written for some huh. tyler perry shows he's written for oh, a lot baller. Of oh he's a baller <laughs> you know, we grew up together though you know so nice and he lives he lives down here but he you know he licensed some of his stuff to us to to share and you know i'm happy about that so he's got i think three episodes of, of his show so if you have a sitcom if you have a family program I and mean, there's something for everybody so really we're ready for you you know and it's just something for for everybody i think uh, who did i leave out sports i left sports 
Um, who did I leave out? Oh, oh, yes. Let me do this. This is what I showed on the other video. My gamers. Oh, I got something for you. If you are, you know, you're on Twitch. Okay, everybody's on Twitch. So if you are maybe, I'm not Twitchable yet. <laughs> I'm not that level gamer to Twitch yet. Um, but you just want to try to put some of your stuff out there. Come on over. I got the Flow Free Play channel just for video gamers. You either want to stream some stuff. You got a podcast about video games. You got the stuff you want to talk about. Oh, you know, nice. my sons are gamers and I, I'm trying to get them to get on. I try to trick them into getting on, but <laughs> it doesn't work so well. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I said, okay, so we're in the car and I'm saying, so um, what do you, um, what, what game, what are you playing? Playing? What are you playing? Oh, I'm playing the so-and-so and such and such, but it's so-and-so and such and such because I said, well, that's part of, that could be part of a podcast because the other one chimed in, yeah, because so-and-so and such and such about these games. I'm like, you guys are already creating content right here. So it doesn't take a lot. It's just kind of like, we want to hear what people have to say. So Right, right. <laughs> and, and really, <laughs> I used to follow a game. He wasn't the best, but he was just funny. <laughs> Right, right. So, you know, I just followed him because it was a game I'm playing. I'm like, oh, he was better than me, but he wasn't like top tier. Like, I'll, I'll follow some people. I'll watch some people play top tier stuff. And it's like, I'm no, I'm never going to be there because I have a life. You know? <laughs> anyway. Some people, that's what they do the most, and some people just do it to dabble it for fun. Even if you're a dabble, right. come on. Right, right. For content creators and not necessarily only ones who are really big already. This is for people who need another place to house their content and just, you know, expand their audience, expand their brand, get to new places besides what's already saturated out there. So. Right, right, right. Wow. Okay. I, I'm very, I'm, I'm very <laughs> impressed. When you said, I'm, I started a streaming service. I'm like, what? When did you do that? You're like, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Everybody's okay. laughs> Meanwhile, all I did was stretch my uh, stretch my waistline, you know. But <laughs> if you can only see uh, from the shoulders down, you know, you'd be like, "Oh, wow!" You know. <laughs> so, hey, uh, Chef Jennifer, I see you on here. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, you know, Stephanie, it's like you 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 brought me to new places. Like I've never been on TV. And I never thought I'd have a cooking show on TV. And you brought me, and of all networks, the Christian, the Christian network. So it's like when you be like, I really want to do a cocktail. Oh, I can't do that on the, on the Christian network. I can't have cocktail time. <laughs> it's content appropriate for the channel, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I do my little food for thoughts. I have these little moments when I come out the shower and you know do my little sermonettes, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Yeah. yeah so have you know. Within. We're not like all one monolithic thing. We, right. we have varieties of parts to us, and it's okay to, to show all of those. So right. So, but yeah. So I want to shout well, out, look, shout out Ten Gang look. Baby before we go. Ten Gang Baby, What's Real podcast, and uh, Freddie Real, Meet Me in the City. There were some former students were there out there doing things. We were just at uh, Two Chains birthday party or something, shooting some stuff. So. They're out there doing some stuff. They're on the platform. I want to shout them out. I want to shout a couple of pastors. Um, I want to uh, shout out, who was it? Like, a, I, want to, I think there's two I'm just adding on. Just adding on, <laughs> uh, Pastor Tony, he's from New Jersey, and he's got uh, some content I just put up. And then we're getting uh, Pastor Julius Renwick from um, Philly. He's got a, a church. I think it's uh, Mali from Baptist Church. I think it's his church. I'm just getting him right. set again so you know i hope i didn't miss anybody <laughs> but well, i want to shout out all our content creators that are on here with us doing the thing and i just you know really appreciate everybody coming on board hoping to get some more people real soon new content being added all the time mancini sports he's added a whole bunch of audio podcasts from different places and people and cities so i i was mentioning last week last week our sports channel our Flow fans was the biggest growing channel with content, the most new content. So we're getting new content rolling out all the time. Nice. Want to sample the uh, Flow, some of the stuff on there. Uh, you can go to flowtelevision.com, the website, and scroll down just a little bit to see the, the live wheel there. Or just go and download the Flow app on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV. We have a Flow iOS app and a Flow Android app. So um, like you said, you know, you'd be, I'll be anywhere. I'm like, oh, let me see what the Flow is doing. And I'll, I'll mm. put it in and, and, and pull it on up there. So I know you're yeah. about, we're about to wrap. You know, I could talk for days. 
So we're I know, me too, me too. And you know, but <laughs> you know, we can't we can't bore the people. <laughs> as, as we start breaking down and start talking about Philly all of a sudden. So go Eagles. <laughs> all right, can I just show this real quick? So here is what's going yep. oh, oh my the flow. So it'll come up sort of like this. I'm sorry, all those fingerprints. What? Oh, man, you should have cleaned that. Yeah. So there's your joke and write and, you know, all the different content and stuff down there. So you could be on the flow, too, in any one of the 10 channels. If you want to live stream an event, pay-per-view an event, put a paywall up for your event and stream it across the world and let people pay you to see it, you can do that, too. So, you know, we'll talk more. But, yes. Well, yeah. You Join know, it's 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 amazing. <laughs> like, I have a lot of people who have done some stuff over over the – over the pandemic furlough and you're one of them uh chef jennifer's another one exactly. you know it's like you're doing you're doing what <laughs> <laughs> and it's like oh yeah i'm doing this i'm like what you what you got a spice line now? What? <laughs> That's amazing. meanwhile back at the ranch you know yeah. <laughs> then you want to sell right. your spice line we have the flow uh finds channel where we're selling stuff if you want to sell your products right. I there you go. See, see, uh, we you just, course, you want to sell your courses? Got that too. So you know, mm, anyway, everything, <laughs> everything. Well, no, I'm, we're we're here to promote your, your 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 network. So and so promote away. It's it's okay. It's 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 not bragging. It's just what it is. So you don't have to. You know. <laughs> but yeah, that's so, why that's why I wanted you on the show. You I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm promote Chef Troy B's uh, cool stuff that he's got going on, and you know. I just appreciate the moment that you, you're giving us here. So, thank well, you. You know, it's, yeah, I mean, you brought me on board. So, you know, at the, at the <laughs> infant stage, you know, she's like, hey, how would you want to be on TV? I'm like, what? You want to? <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so we did, we did the, like, <laughs> we, we did, like, I uh, wanted to do an intro to the show, you know, tell them what the station is about. How come I had to do it three times? Um, chef, we need you to wear a different T-shirt. <laughs> Your background, you had like a, a, a Bud Light uh, cup back there. And I'm like, what? You saw that? And so I'm like, Ugh. So I finally got it right. And I was like, then she'll be like, your background, Chef, is a little busy. I'm like, this is the kitchen I got. This is what I have. You're you know. me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. This is the broadcast studio I have right here. Right, right. So you know, it's a lot of people got small kitchen, and this is how they store their stuff on top of other stuff. And you know, yeah, they got stuff on top. Like they got stuff on top of the refrigerator. I got stuff on top of my refrigerator. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so and you know, a lot of times I'm taking my Instagram vid uh, video and just editing it. Mm -hmm. and, and some, you know, when I do the, the piece at the end with, hey, what are you going to drink with this? It's like scotch. It's like, you know, I got to cut that part off for the show because <laughs> they don't even know. Right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> very thoughtful. But, I well, you know, I, I'm trying to keep you on, you know, and uh, trying to get you renewed. And okay. I'm glad I got some new content that you can put on your show because it's been a while. It's, yeah. it's hard, man. It's hard. All here. I mean, I got kind of stuck trying to. Uh, do it do this and you know wasn't able to do a lot of new content for the other for the, the other platform but you know we're getting back in the swing of it so yeah, it's, all yeah. good. it's all good so i got the, i got another cocktail one for the for the channel too so for the okay. for the app so okay. we'll get that together and then, uh next week i'm going to be cooking and we'll do some uh some shrimp fried rice but instead of using rice we're going to do all, a healthy alternative which is going to be rice uh, cauliflower so huh? i got that for one of my followers and uh, we'll we'll knock that out. And, uh, good, I'm going to be more consistent because the 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 biggest thing with being content, you got to be consistent. Even if you're doing it once a month, you got to do it once a month. So exactly. you know that's that's the hardest part. Besides editing it on your phone and trying to <laughs> trying to clip, you know, it's like yo, know. <laughs> I need to put text on the screen. I need text on the screen. Oh, okay, this is how you put text on the screen. Okay, I got it right here. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so. We're going to wrap this up because we'll be on there all night long and it's Friday and it'll be Monday before you know it. And then we'll be back at work. So, but <laughs> right, right. So Stephanie, thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be on your platform. Thank you for coming to my platform. Hey, if anyone is a content creator, you want to try to be a content creator, 
just DM her. You can email her. Um, she has, um, it's the Flow Television Network on Instagram. Uh, she also goes under the Atlantic Traffic Lady. Um, if you recognize the voice, if you listen to V103, she does traffic on V103. Uh, yes, Chef Jennifer, it's going to be cauliflower rice, okay? Just just, just chill, okay? <laughs> She's always always got the heckler in the crowd, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not as hard as it can be. But it can be as hard as you can make it, you know, just the editing part. But my first few ones, I just, I just sent them out. It's like, here, this is what you got. <laughs> you have to do because the thing is, there's no such thing as a perfect anything, really. And then if you keep trying to make it so perfect, you'll never actually get it done, right? Right, no. right. Okay, so, so I, and a lot of the editing I use, uh, Power Direct. Now I was using uh, the Adobe product, but. They changed it, and I couldn't use it on my phone anymore. I was like, uh, so. Oh, yeah. You rush or whatever, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 the rush. And then I discovered, hey, you can put music on it because they'll have, you know, free music that you can put in the background. So I'm learning how to do that now and just. Good. Yeah. So you got to have that, um, you know, that, that music that has no copyrights on it. Right, right, right. So it's like you can play, you can play, uh. Happy birthday in the background, you know, right. <laughs> for the entire clip, you know. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, definitely if you, you know, you want a different location to uh, place your content, you want uh, something different, you want you want a, a different audience because, you know, a lot of people don't watch YouTube and Twitch. I work with a co-worker who has no idea what YouTube <laughs> really? she doesn't watch. She doesn't watch it. That's not her thing, you know. Right. But, um, you know, she'll watch things on her other streaming services. So this is a nice way to get your, right. Get your, right. And, you know, it's got to be, now it's got to be original content. She, she just housing it, like she says, original, uh, original, <laughs> original. <laughs> uh, uh, right, right. Uh, and then uh, she'll put it on her platform to house it. And, you know, the internet's forever. And, you know, we pray that the, the Flow Television Network will be forever. And this is a way to get yourself out there. You know, if you want to be a producer, you want to, like you said, anything. It's, she's, got a, she's got a category, a channel you. for you. <laughs> for you. So don't be afraid. You know, if you need to hire an editor, just, just hire an editor. Just do it on your phone, do it on your computer, whatever you need to do. Uh, so, but it's a uh, it's a it's a good thing. So I'm 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 very happy and very proud of you, Miss Stephanie. Okay. You started the television. You started the television network. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think about it. One day I can go and watch it. I'm like, my thing is actually on. All right, <laughs> right, right. Really, but I was like, wow, you did that, God. You kind of just led everything to like perfection, where it was just like flawless, and how it was being executed. I'm like. Really that? Really that? Really? You know. So the way he laid it out for me, I couldn't help but be able to get it done properly. So I'm so thankful you know, to God for that. So that's been good. Uh, yeah. Can I give one last shout out yes. to uh, TC, JJ, Mark Mancini, and Wayne from Memphis on my sports podcast. Yeah, check that out. Mm. Although I'm not on there right now because I've been doing this. But uh, it's called uh, Prime Time in the ATL. And then we changed it to ATL Prime Sports. So watch for them also on the flow. But shout out to you guys. You're all my buddies. We've been podcasting for three years now doing sports. Wow. I don't know about sports, but I'm on the podcast. So it shows you can do something. Right. <laughs> you don't know yeah. about <laughs> long as you, long as you don't like the Cowboys, everything's okay oh, with me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. And yeah. Reese Smith, you're a Cowboys fan. Sorry, Reese. <laughs> Every, everyone's not perfect, you know. You just love them where they are, you know. <laughs> how, how did you grow up in Philly and become a Cowboys fan? He said, "Good upbringing. Good upbringing." Cowboys <laughs> mm. <laughs> were like, "No." Mm. <laughs> He probably didn't live in Philly. He probably lived out in Lower Maring or Bally Kimwood or something like that. You know, he wasn't really in Philly. You know, <laughs> right, right. So, well, we're gonna we're going to wrap this up for real now. So, <laughs> go too long. You go too long. <laughs> so, but hey. 
I want to thank everyone who showed up today. You know, it's always going to be on Instagram TV forever. So she's available to you. If you have a content that you want to create, you have an idea that you want to put out there, there's a channel for you on her, uh, on her network. Uh, don't be afraid. And, you know, I'm Chef Troy B. This is Stephanie Stallworth, the Atlanta uh, traffic lady and now CEO of the Flow Television Network. And, you know, my reward is an empty plate. And I love each and every one of you. Take care of yourself. Listen, wear a mask. Get vaccinated, okay? I'm just saying. Um, you know, my superpowers haven't kicked in yet. I'm hoping by the end of the month, they'll start kicking in. My six pack will come in, you know, ah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so, Hey, I'll see y'all next week, Lord willing. And Stephanie, you know, you know, you're always welcome on the station. I'm gonna have to come to your house and we'll have to do a live taping, yeah. of, yeah. you know, of me cooking. In, in your kitchen, try not to set off the smoke detectors. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I will see y'all next week. Y'all have a good week. Have a, enjoy your weekend. And Stephanie, you enjoy your weekend with the boys. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Peace. Thanks, everybody. See ya. All right.